Hello and welcome to my new video where I'm going to show you the tool XDo Tool. Um, I won't show you everything because I'm in a virtual machine and I can't move the mouse properly which is apparently because of a security issue and I can't solve this at the moment. I will show you though how you can do it on your Linux and it will probably work if you're on a bootable Linux or maybe not using exactly Linux Mint but Debian or something else. Um, first I'm going to show you how to install it. Like nearly every tool you just do x to tool. Oh no, sorry sudo apt get install xdo tool okay um, we can see here it's already installed for me um, you will have another output it will ask you if you will uh, probably to press y and then you just have to press Y or Enter and it will work. Now, first I'm going to tell you a bit about the tool. The tool is, I think, only for Linux. Um, it's fast installed than the other tool I've uh, reviewed before called Pi Auto Guy. And it's directly with bash so this is the bash terminal for instance if I type echo something it will output it right away so now I'm going to show you what x22 really can do I can't show you this uh, some of the stuff because it doesn't work for some reason uh, first I'm going to show you hmm x to two wrote I wrote it wrong again I do that often and then you do click free and you can do right click now my friend did for instance uh, application which she can run and it looks same out automatically uh, on Linux you usually do control plus alt plus L but I'm not going to do it because it might kill the recorder which would be rather an effort so what we next can do is maybe x do do oh, damn it x do to key Control plus C. Control plus C usually stops a program from running. So if you do a command which stops the program from running, so basically itself, this happens. Ah, oh. Control. Did I write it wrong? No. Should work. Ah, oh, there we go. I don't exactly know why it does that. The key to, to stop that is to press Ctrl C very long. Now what we can also do is XDo tool key up or key up big and it presses, you know, you have uh, arrow keys. It's you could probably do key right, yep, key left, and what we essentially could do is hover over here. I'm going to do quick nano run me dot sh 
and I'm going to do a quick command x2, I mean not command, uh, a script x22, no first we do sleep, sleep 5 seconds, x22, x2, oh, two, click 1, then x22, key return, return is space, I'll add in a hashtag here quick, no not space, sorry, it's backspace, x22, type, you can write some words, here and x to tool key control plus s control plus s as we as i've stated in a previous video i think in my first already it saves uh so it presses that so i'm gonna mod it quick let me just clear schmod plus x run me clear now i'm going to run it uh schmodding i oh, know i've stated that already what that is perfect okay now when i run it it's going to wait five seconds i'm going to place it here now what you can see it does it's going to click and then it's going to write i don't know why it wrote an s Let's check our code quick. I could probably do even some bash tutorials. X22 control plus S. Um, why does it do that? Doesn't control plus S. Yeah, it does save it. Try again. Well, I'll just try it in here quick, see if it does that. Not looking too good. Nope. Okay. Because if you do Control plus C. Oh. It works. Stop. There. Mm. Perhaps it needs a break. Now what we can do is wait. Wait is basically a command which waits until the, co the previous command or the previous yeah command is finished. Don't know why it wrote it up here. Now what we also can do is we go here. And instead of this, we aren't going to write it in caps lock. You can write something. And I mean in capital letters. What we can do is x do two key script executed and it should write everything and caps look perfect. Mm. Yeah, it does work. Um, doesn't work. But then here, it has to be caps lock for some reason. So it's kind of a pain, which PyAuto Guide does not have. X. 
do tool key space and what we can also do is x do tool key backspace not sure if it has to be now caps uh, written in capital letters or not let me just try this x do tool x do tool key backspace okay then it's probably big see how stupid uh, I don't think the makers of this um, add-on didn't really think okay uh, what we can do is copy this I could make a loop but uh, middle mouse wheel uh, damn it now you can do alt u which does it back Okay, so Ugh. X no no dot uh Rami dot s eight. Now it waits five seconds and it should type something oh, and it deleted it again because of the backspace. Now probably we can fix this by writing a big L. Maybe not. Yep. Okay. That's interesting. Now it done everything in caps lock but before it didn't. Now what we can do is what we could do is x do to oh that's a bit of a pain when you work with caps lock x do to oh. all right there's a dash Oh, finally. Okay. Now, what we can also do is x do two key up, x do two key up, maybe not use these backspaces and spaces. That's a bit of a problem with, uh, what's it? With nano, because you can't select things as easily. It's a bit of a pain. Um, now what we can do is, it goes up, up. So it does it does write something, goes up, up. And actually it's a one, two. No, it would be here. And then what we could do is that it does X do two key control plus A or probably a capital A. And then we do X do to key control plus C because control plus C does also select at the same uh, copy at the same time <sighs> perfect okay Now what I want is that it does x do tool key. Actually, we want it here already. X do tool key k 
caps lock because you know in caps lock when you press it it stays until you press it again so the same is here now what we then want is that x2 2 key delete and then x2 2 key control plus v and um, before we do that we do x2 2 no we do uh, sleep 5 seconds I'm not sure what happens if I do echo here ha 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 all deleted no it will be after then it would wait 5 seconds x2 2 sleep 5 seconds x2 2 control plus s why does it have to be capital here that's weird and then we do x2 2, 2 key return which would result in this mm, not quite oh you can also type x do tool help ah ok I didn't even know that executors probably programs I've seen that you can do many more things but like mouse move doesn't work you could move the mouse actually and click things but that doesn't work properly because I'm in a virtual machine and I'm on Linux Mint um where was I oh yeah I wanted to delete it what I actually need to do is because it doesn't say anywhere delete here nope okay now what we can just do essentially is Ah, oh, sorry, my nose. Oh. Return. And we need here another big control S. Perfect. Clear dot run me. And there it is again. I think it even saved it. Nope. So now what we can actually do is. Wait, why is there another key return? That's not necessary. What we can do is sleep or a wait. Oh, I know why the return is there. already executed. How embarrassing. Okay. Control S doesn't seem to work anymore unless I forgot key. Yes I did. I wonder if I did it x to 2 key delete no okay, let's do this again and this time paste it 
and save it. Yes. All I need to do is that it presses enter. Now this is really boring. I mean, who the hell wants this? What you else do is a spammer. Don't think I did this with Pi Auto Guy. Okay, so we need two times enter. Bit of a pain in the ass. But sure. X do tool key return. And just in case we do a wait here. What? Hmm. Clear slash run me and again didn't do it hmm and what we can do here is just spam return until it works x do two key return return is still yeah enter just so we know now this time it will work hopefully pasted it's loading something but I don't actually think it did do it question is now why Maybe we don't need a wait because wait thinks that it's finished. So we try it again. Hmm. I don't know why this works. Probably it's again the security bug of Linux Mint. Now what we can do is a spammer. Um, first gonna do this quick in nano. Nano spammer dot sh and I'll I'll ask first for input read minus p enter the text you want to be spammed Okay, then I'm going to give it a quick name, text, and now x2 tool. I know, first we do uh, thinking if I should do a wait or I'll do an echo. Starts in three seconds. And then we do sleep three seconds. And then x to two type. I oh, know we need to do a while loop. My bad. While one minus eq one. I think this should work. Um, yeah, I think this works. X to do type. Uh, dollar text. X to two 
key return done what we need to do is declare variable first i equals zero so we do oh no i equals one if dollar i equals one do this which should work now no also be the case is that bash wants like python a nice ugh, home syntax then this would probably be here Okay, I think it was the syntax because now there's another error. And what you also can do is just, in case you have this on other system or it doesn't recognize it as bash, you can add this thing here, which basically says. Hey, just remember that this is bash and not text. Oh. Usually also do this in Python, or I used to. Oh wait, uh, and now it's spamming nothing. Also, there's a gap here. Ah, oh, finally. Now, what I can do now here, the interesting thing comes. Let's imagine this is Facebook or... There we go. Here you can see some code I've been trying. Ha ha ha, code. And I think if I type here something and hit enter, oh, perfect, okay. Now let's assume this is some group chat. What I can do is write fucked and click here. And in three seconds, ooh, I should stop this because it is already connecting. Now we can see it doesn't work properly. Actually, it doesn't bloody work at all anymore. Oh, there I typed it. Oh, can't clear. What? What the hell is going on? Yeah. Okay, sometimes it crashes your keyboard basically and it's kind of a pain in the arse. What you have to do is go back in and probably after exit and because it doesn't even say that it should be caps lock anymore 
Now what we also do is here wait. Maybe here not a wait. Although we actually don't need here wait. So let's run the fucker. We oh let's do like that. Now it's going to wait three seconds. For some reason, it's not spamming it correctly. Oh, wait, it. Oh, shit, it did. Okay. Now you see how much damage this already does. Now, what I could do. Well, probably my. No, it, it worked. Okay, exit works. Now what you could do is this website is a bit special, you know. Okay, now what you can do is write something more fun. Instead of just text, you can do P. But that's only because of the website doesn't shouldn't work normally on sites. Because if you do, you basically have an exploit. I mean, you found an exploit. Mm. Test. Okay, wait, maybe not. Not actually P, because P wouldn't show it in big. This is not part of the X2 tool. But that's HTML. And I think I can inject HTML in this website. big text starting three seconds what okay um, that, that shouldn't happen problem connecting with the side that looks really healthy and it's kind of not very good let me check quick if there's a we free schools Post forum. Oh, now it works again. Let's try this. Three seconds. Test. Enter. Ooh. Okay, stop. Now we wait and see if it works. website is kind of slow and I may have added already a few stuff like file upload etc Ooh. I imagine if you do this on this site for like 24 hours or more the site will start to overload and in the end it will crash now you could do other things which do even more damage my friend found something fun with what's it XML anyway um okay random random smiley for some reason what else is there to show I don't think there's anything else Ah yes, of course, days. Nearly forgot it. Only just. Now I've said earlier that you can control actually the mouse and move it and click stuff. Now the problem with this is that I'm in a virtual machine and it's Linux Mint and it doesn't want somehow. I'm not sure if it's the problem because it's Linux Mint. Or no, not sure if it's the problem that it's in a virtual Linux Mint. Or because it's something else. Now, what you can do is x2 tool mouse move and then some location on the screen. And it would actually go there 
but it doesn't here. See, it doesn't work properly. It doesn't go beyond this window for some reason. Now, I will do a paste bin like I did the last time for this short script here, which you can do cat mouse location, and you can see how extremely short it is. But I just remembered. I don't think this code does it work. Let me just. I earlier found a command while I was recording the first time and realized that it's not recording properly. There was another command called this. I'm not sure when I run this mouse location finder and this mouse location finder if they get exactly the same result if they do yet yeah, they do okay so you can just use this here what you're essentially going to do doesn't work here is x do to mouse move Four four uh, five four two six zero five. Move now a bit, but wait, does it work now? Let's see. If I want it to be here, Control C to stop it. Twenty one two four four. Another problem which could be that it be that it you. I have to do it the other way around. No, you see it doesn't work. It would actually go to this location here. But it doesn't because it's fucking retarded. Why ever? I don't know. Anyway, I think that was everything. I've really spammed the shit out of this. I've showed you mouse move. Showed you key up. Ah. Uh, what should work? I'm gonna try quick. Yeah, okay. There's another funny thing you can do it x to two key control plus alt plus left, which you can see changes basically the workspaces. Da in total four workspaces it's basically like a cube this is workspace one two three four one so you could go technically other workspace now if you wanted something more interactive you could just do firefox Start that quick. If it always does that, that would be. No, I think that was just a coincidence. Yeah, it was. I would have to have it exactly here. But we can do Firefox. And let me just. Can you use it with the keyboard somehow? Yeah, but it's a fucking pain. Okay, how many times did I? And what you can do is with tab 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 8 times. Okay. So now we do nano foxy.sh mm, x2 key tab. I don't actually, not actually sure what would tab do here x to two key tab okay that works perfect now you do x to two with the tab i think it was five times already forgot copy one two three four five ah oh. first we do five fox Wait, and then we do 
x to 2 or we actually could do pretty irrelevant and stupid but we could do now echo search something now um read minus p enter something you are looking for something echo this just does a um, a gap and we do wait x to 2 type something wait x to 2 key return and we'll probably have to schmod it quick Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, it was eight times, and it did it too fast. Eight times. Okay. Reload it. Swinglish innovation. Perfect. Wasn't that brilliant? Now, um, what I could do is not look for it on Firefox I mean through Firefox but I think I could do youtube.com not sure yep okay but it's a bit slow going to use this link probably that's faster So I just had to change quick my account because that's my private account. Um, now let's reopen this quick. And hashtag these out because I don't need everyone. I mean everything. Or every one of these. Actually, I need none at the moment. Run it quick. Redo this. Okay, now the good thing is it types it straight away. Okay, perfect. Now, why does it do a second page? It's a bit annoying, but we'll just keep it that way. I think it works now. Yeah, perfect. Okay, now we run it. Swinglish innovation. For some reason it opened it now in here. Or 
also for some reason it's not loading because it's crap Do I have chromium? I don't think so. Nope. Okay. I'll just install it quick because because this is shit and it's slow as fuck. Clear. sudo apt get install. Spent quite a long time for this tool. I actually thought it would be shorter. I thought it was like 10 minutes, not more. But with these examples and the shitty slow internet, it goes quite long. Now, the good thing is with Firefox and this stuff, if you control someone's computer, you could do like Chromium minus browser and then maybe. Play the Nazi FM at full volume on his uh, computer, and he's gonna get in trouble for it, <laughs> or stuff like that. With a tool Elsemix, I think you can change the volume, but I'm not entirely sure why you would want why you need to change the volume. If you do, you can use uh, L Mixer or and player I think. If you want me to make a tutorial about that I can. But I'm not sure if it works on the virtual machine. So yeah. Just gonna wait quick until it's done. Okay, perfect. Now Chromium browser should be a lot faster. Ah here's my mistake. HTTPS double point uh, YouTube.com I think it's forward slash in English Yeah, this should work Yeah Ah, oh, it's background, okay Swinglish Innovation Yeah, probably I should set it as default first. And it should... Do it already. Okay, it's not doing it for some reason. Why isn't it doing it? What? Pop... P P A P I. What PPAP or PPAI? PPAPI, I mean. What's in the YouTube link? I thought it was YouTube com. Ah, www. Okay. Oh, damn it. Now you can do Alt U if you write something wrong. Don't do Control Z ever in Nano. Why isn't it it's slow? There we go. Now, of course, what I could have done is just done the direct link. Why, why does it speak about bloody flash player? No. Okay, it's a lot faster now. Mmm, yes, advertisement. Why isn't it working though? Because if I type something manually, it does. No. Remind me later. No. Look at all these bloody pop-ups. What the hell happened to YouTube? Why aren't you working? I 
don't know why the hell it's coming up with bloody flash player. Does it do this if I just type chromium? Hmm. Ah, let's just use Firefox. At least this crap won't show up. Hopefully. Much better. It's just gonna have to type it. Doesn't look very good. Maybe YouTube has like a, a safety thing. Question is, does it type it in here? It's not doing it anymore for some reason. Hmm. Maybe we need to sleep another ten seconds or five. What the hell am I even signed uh, subscribe to this crap? Doesn't seem to work for some reason. I could try quick if it even works, if it even takes the input. By X to tool type. This is pissing me off a bit. Nope. Ugh. What the hell happened here? I think this is again because I'm in a virtual machine because usually that doesn't happen. What we could just do is go to the direct link here. Or choose another bloody site. Anyway. Mm. Thank you very much indeed for watching my sixth tutorial or seventh, no, not tutorial video. I think I've done only five or six. And I hope you'll be here next time when I'm going to show you the next tool I've found. Which you can fuck up someone's desktop and have a lot of fun, but it doesn't do a lot of damage. Have a nice day and see you next time. Hello.